so we started working on these viruses in about the year 1999-2000 and uh, solved the first crystal structures of the protease of coronaviruses. I went to China in 2003 and collaborated with several laboratories here. We were the only ones who had such structures. How different is this virus compared to the previous coronaviruses that are more well known, uh, namely SARS and MERS? The RNA genome is about 82% identical as the SARS uh, virus. Is that good news or bad news? That's good news because uh, then the experimental inhibitors that my group and other groups have developed will work also against the a new Wuhan coronavirus. Reports have it that you are also bringing experimental compounds to China. What do they do? Um, these are also inhibitors of the main protease of coronaviruses, but they are not drugs. They are experimental inhibitors and they cannot be used in humans now. It's a long way away. It's a long way and what will happen is by the time you are at that point there is no patient. It's because passed it, already. It, 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 and how long do you think this outbreak will last? These RNA viruses are self-limiting. That means after a certain time, most people have developed antibodies against the virus, even though they did not fall sick, and then uh, they are immune against the infection. So um, these uh, outbreaks typically end by themselves, after a couple of months. But is a vaccine on the horizon? Many groups started to work on vaccines against new viruses, including CDC Beijing, including the NIH in the USA, and I'm sure many others. And, um, but it will take several months. Mm. Many people want treatment as soon as possible. So what drugs are available now that could help? It's very important to distinguish between um, drugs which are available now and can be used in humans and experimental inhibitors which still need a lot of testing. They probably cannot contribute much to the current outbreak whereas we do have some drugs uh, which can be tried now. These are not approved for treatment of people infected with coronavirus but they have been tried um, for other viruses. And for instance, there is uh, lopinavir and tritonavir. It's a combination of uh, protease inhibitors of HIV. And uh, this combination has shown some surprising successes during the SARS outbreak and also against the MERS virus. A clinical trial has been initiated in Wuhan with this combination. There is a paper appeared last Friday in the Lancet. The clinical trial has just been started. So do you think this is the situation when it comes to virus outbreaks, that the drugs and the cure and the vaccine comes much later than the outbreak itself? Yeah, we are always running behind the virus. We need to change this. We need to have uh, inhibitors developed into drugs even before the outbreaks. That is not a market for the pharmaceutical industry. So our strategy to get the pharmaceutical industry interested is to take the large family of enteroviruses also as a target. We have alone in China half a million cases of enterovirus 71 every year in small children, hand, foot and mouse disease. And the enteroviruses have a protease which shares some common features with the coronaviruses. And we make use of these common features and develop our inhibitors to address both to the enterovirus and uh, the coronaviruses, even though uh, apart from the protease, these virus families are completely different. I wanted to establish a collaboration with a laboratory in China that has the new Wuhan virus and try these experimental inhibitors in cell culture.